So let's start with a couple of lines that are in the same plane. We're only going to be dealing with two-dimensional geometry in this video. These lines are conveniently called line AB and line CD. Now the important thing to notice about these two lines is that they're pointing in exactly the same direction. So even if we extend them forever, they would never cross or even get closer together. When two lines are arranged like this, we call them parallel. Now you've probably heard the term parallel before, like parallel parking, or a parallel universe, or parallel bars. Okay, so parallel lines are lines that will never cross, even if they go on forever. But what if I take one of our lines and give it a little nudge? Now the lines aren't parallel anymore. In fact, they cross at this point right here. Let's name it point P. When lines cross at a point like this, we say that they intersect, and we call the point an intersection. And when lines intersect, they form angles. You can think of the angles as the spaces or shapes that are formed between the intersecting lines. These intersecting lines form four angles. One, two, three, four. But instead of calling them angle one, two, three, and four, in geometry, we name them by the points used to make them. For example, this angle here can be called angle DPB because if you trace along those points, like connect the dots, they outline that angle. And this angle here, we can call that angle APD because connecting those dots forms that angle. Now when naming angles, there's a nice shorthand that we can use. Instead of writing the word angle over and over again, we can just use the angle symbol instead, which looks like this. 